Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be talking about one of the key things that instructors and parents can be on the same page about as we help our kids make the journey towards black belt. Hi everyone, this is Master Rescue here, one of the head instructors at World Class Taekwondo, and in today's video we'll be talking about what parents should and should not always be saying about tips. As many of you already know, tips are progress markers that help us instructors know what a child knows and has been working on and making progress towards in terms of getting closer to their next belt. It's one of the most exciting things for kids to earn here at Taekwondo class and it's something that we always see as a motivator but potentially a demotivator if we don't be careful about the way we help our students understand how tips work and how and why they're earning them. Just like black belt and each individual color belt, tips are a way to help our students set goals. And here at World Class Time Window, we always want to instill in our children that goals are the result of effort and time. And if they combine those things, it's something that they will feel progress and be very proud about as they move up to. One of the most valuable things that we were taught as instructors is that when our students are moving throughout the ranks, we as instructors and parents always want to communicate to them that there's going to be many more classes where they don't earn a tip than ones where they will. At the same time, that's what makes those classes so special when they do earn their tip, and especially when our students know that they've earned it and worked hard to get there, it makes it that much more sweet. Since earning a black belt is very much a team effort between students, parents, and instructors, we would always ask that our parents trust and support the instructor's decision about the student's readiness for their progress tips along the way. Now let's talk a little bit about what our parents should or should not say as our students do and don't earn the tips. On the day your child earns a tip, it's one of the most exciting things that they can experience here at Tight Window Class. At the same time, we want to make sure that they know why they earn the tip. So even though we're celebrating this piece of tape that goes on their belt, always reinforce the behaviors or the things that help them earn that tip that day. It's not just the fact that they memorized the moves or didn't make a mistake. Those are very important, but we also want to communicate to the child the focus or the confidence or the effort or the energy that they put in their performance that help them get to where they want to be. Whether it's in the school or on the drive home or in the next few days, please reinforce parents that which helped the child earn the tip that day. They want to repeat that feeling, it helped them feel awesome, and that's something they want more of. And we always want to communicate to our kids what helped them get there, and that those same behaviors will help them get to their next tip. There are plenty of times where someone may not have earned the tip on their last class or two, but today's the day they do. Especially on those visits, parents, please make sure that you tell your child you're so proud of the extra practice or intensity or confidence that they showed in today's visit that helped them earn the tip and make them feel awesome, especially if it's something that last time they may not have felt as well because they were a little disappointed that they didn't earn the tip last visit, but it makes today even better. Now let's talk a little bit about what to say when our students do not earn a tip. There's really gonna be two versions of this, parents. Number one is if it's a day your child does get checked for their readiness and the instructor feels that they need a little more practice or a couple corrections on the things that they're being checked on. The other version is if it's a day where your child does not get evaluated, even though they may have felt ready to move up or be recognized, those are the times that we wanna make sure we know what to say to help our child stay motivated. Parents, please reinforce to your kids that it's not that the instructors are saying no, it's that we're saying not yet. And that's really important because it helps our kids reframe their focus from feeling a little down in the dumps to goal-oriented or motivated or inspired to get to where they would like to be. And just like we talked about earlier, parents, we really ask for your trust and support, especially on the days where your child may not earn a tip or may not be deemed as ready for that special recognition in that one class. 
please communicate to your child that you trust the instructors and that you agree with them that these are the things that we can practice or get better on to get closer to our next tip. Those are the ways that parents can really affect their child's psyche and help them stay motivated versus demotivated. One of the best things we can do is make an action plan. If it's a day that your child doesn't earn their tip, you can say, hey, let's watch the video at home or study the student manual or practice a little bit. I'll help you. If you're in it together with your child, it's gonna help them know that you, they've got a support system and it's gonna help them stay on track towards their next tip, belt, and of course, someday earning their black belt. One of the things that we're asking parents to be very careful about is making promises to their kids about when or how their child will earn their next tip. Please always feel free to communicate with the instructors at your school about progress or anything that you'd like to know in terms of your child's development, but we would really caution you from making promises like, I'm sure that you'll get checked on your next class, or I think this is why you didn't earn your tip today. Always make sure that you do have a good understanding of what the instructors are expecting and what they're looking for as they do their evaluations. One thing that we think students and parents should really know is there is not a single factor for gauging a student's tip readiness. There's a number of things that instructors consider when they're gauging someone's readiness for their next tip or their next belt, including memorization, focus, confidence, effort. A lot of different factors go into the instructor's decision-making process. Plus, we know that everyone's trying to become their personal best. We do not compare our students to each other, and most importantly, your child's readiness for their next tip is not based on someone else's performance or understanding or speed through the program as well. Please trust us, this is the best way to help your child get the unique tailored experience that you're looking for them to gain out of our program, and that is so important to understand. We always want to make sure that everyone knows there's a number of things we're thinking about and trust us, we're always talking and discussing and making sure that we're all on the same page to help our students get the best results out of our program. If we can get our children to understand that effort and time are the keys to helping us achieve anything that we want to set our mind to, that's one of the most valuable things that someone can learn here at Taekwondo class. And as teachers and parents, it's our job to instill in our kids what those principles are. We want to celebrate the goal achievement that we have, set new goals, but also make sure that we stay motivated and task oriented as we work towards goals that we have not yet achieved. And helping the students know that there is that support system behind them will help them stay motivated all throughout. I hope today's video was helpful, everybody. If you liked it, please make sure that you hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other videos that we'll be posting here on our YouTube channel. And this is the type of video that if you found helpful, we'd ask that you share it with someone you know. Whether it's another parent or someone who's thinking about getting into martial arts, these are some of the ways that as Taekwondo instructors, we can help educate and affect our students' development as they get older throughout our program too.